Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, and I've got another tutorial. Um, in this one, I'm just going to go over color corrections. Now, for those who don't know who, or for those who don't know what color corrections are, they basically just make um, the video footage look better. You just adjust the colors to make it look more cinematic. Um, so, as you can see, this footage looks kind of dull. Yeah, a lot of grays. Um, not a lot of contrast, so um, so I'm going to try to change that. So in order to apply color corrections, you're going to be in the effects panel, and then you'll be under video effects, and then color corrections. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of color corrections. I have some um, extra effects, but um, but there are still a whole lot of color corrections. A lot of them do the same thing, to be honest. But I'll just go through some of the ones that I use the most frequently. Probably my favorite color correction is RGB curves. So if you drag and drop that onto the clip, um, I'm just going to make this a little bigger so you guys can see uh, the effect. Okay, so under RGB curves, after we uh, drop it down, you'll see these four lines and basically why this is called RGB curves is because you can adjust these lines in order to add uh, different colors to it so master this means like basically light and dark so you're just a f you're just changing how bright or how dark it is so what I like to do is on the grid I like to go to about the point three three so right here on the line I like to take that and I like to bring it down to about three two. So um so that's what it looked like before. That's what it looked like after. So it adds a little more depth and a little more contrast to it. And then likewise I like to grab up near the top and I like to raise it up just a little to make the whites a little brighter. So that's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. Um and then for the red, green and blue I also like to change that a little. Um, this can be really, as you can see, you could make it super red. So um, you obviously don't want to put too much. I just like to add maybe just a tad bit up on red. Um, for green, I go down just a little. And then for blue, I go down just a little as well. I find that that brings out a pretty cinematic looking effect. Um, the effects on red, green, and blue um, are really subtle so as you can see it just adds a little more depth to it it uh... it gives it more of a movie type look more cinematic so um... i'm gonna make this a little bigger so you guys can see the effects so that's rgb curves um, i'm just gonna really quickly delete it so that i can move on to the next effect whoops uh... another good um i think let me check out this one or no i i don't really like that one um let's see oh the fast color corrector i think yeah okay so it's called fast color corrector just drag it and drop it on your clip just like the last one and what it gives you is it gives you this circle with all different colors and you just take this um, this little bubble and you place it wherever you want. The farther out you place it, the more extreme the color changes. So, but then the closer you bring it, the more subtle it is. So I obviously suggest something a little more subtle. Um, so that's what it looked like before, and that's how it looks like after. It it just sort of made um, it made the video look a little warmer you know how they're warm and cold colors so that was the color that I chose see it was, it was sort of like an orangish pinkish color so it, it made it look a little warmer but on the contrary if you want to make it look colder of colors you can move towards the blue side of the spectrum and it changes it like that okay let's see I think there are just a couple more here um brightness and contrast this is a pretty simple effect this is just to this is sorta of like the master bot the master um, 
line on the RGB curves. It's similar to that because all it affects is brightness and dark. So I usually like to increase the contrast and then um, also increase the brightness a little. So you don't want to go too crazy with this. So that's how it looked like before. That's how it looked after. Um, the darks got a little darker and the whites got a little brighter. Um, and then there's also one more that, uh, let me just, is it CC Toner maybe? Uh, no, it's not CC Toner. Um, let's see. Sorry about holding you guys up here. Um, hmm. Is it this? No. I'm having trouble thinking of which one it was. Um, I'm just gonna test out a couple here. No, not that one. Um, apologize for the wait, guys. Hmm. Or maybe that's right. It's not under color correction. It's under uh, adjust, and it's uh, pro camp, proc amp, p r o c a m p. However you pronounce that. Yeah, right here you can adjust the saturation and also the contrast. So let's say you want it to look. Um, <clears throat> so this has the brightness and contrast just like the other. Um, what was that called? Just like oh yeah, just like brightness and contrast. Um, you can that can also be found here. And uh, see if I move the saturation up really far, it makes the colors really stand out. I think the 200 is a bit much, but to a certain extent, it can look good. Yeah, so right there you can really tell. I'll make this a little bigger so you guys can hopefully see if the quality is good enough. So, um, especially you can see it on the hat, and I think the light, yeah, it, bring, it brings out the orange a little more and the blue in his hat. And, um, yeah, you can just contrast brightness. And, uh, uh, what, what else? Oh, yeah. Let's say you wanted to make it black and white. I think I'm going to do another tutorial just for how to change it to black and white, but I figure I might as well do it here um, to show you guys this. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think tint. Yeah. If you just apply tint, it, uh, it makes it black and white. There, there are quite a few different um, quite a few different color corrections that you can add to make it black and white but this one's really simple you can also just made it make it have a faded look by reducing the amount of tint that's added so you can make it look dull and uh, also in tint you can have it what that says is map black to so you want if you want your dark colors to maybe be a red and then have your light colors be like a bright blue I don't know when you'd ever do something like that that looks like um, like those Obama posters actually <laughs> um, but yeah y there's a lot of playing around that you can do in color corrections but um, I just sort of skimmed the surface with them um, my favorite is definitely RGB curves um, there's a lot of a lot of customization that you can do in there and it usually ends up looking really good really good uh, movie quality stuff so um, if you guys found this helpful please like the video maybe subscribe for more videos favorite if you're feeling so kind um, yeah I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave it in the comments or private message me so thanks for watching peace